I don't need to tell you that we are indeed living in a cruel and unjust society. When there are 140 million poor and low-income people in the United States, when 39 million children live in poverty, 20 million elders live in poverty, 62 million workers make less than a living wage, when 15 million people can't afford water, and 4 million families, when they turned their taps on this morning, poisoned water came out. When 75% of poor people are women and children, when 60% of African Americans, 65% of Latinx, 40% of Asians are poor, when there are 67 million poor white Americans, we must say, this is not right. This is not moral. Our people are not free. We're not free. In Michigan, as we speak, there are 100,000 families without water. Mothers are losing their homes. Their kids are being taken away because they can't afford their water bills, some of them which are up to 1,000 bucks a month. But the Nestle Corporation, for just a couple dollars a year, is able to bottle up that very same water and sell it to us for billions. Teachers in the Detroit public schools the first day of school have to tell the kids in their class, please don't tell me if you don't have water running in your house. You can come here early. You can use the sink and the bathrooms, but don't tell me because I'm required to report it. And if I report it, you'll be removed from your home. This is in a world that it's made of two-thirds water. And thousands of kids are being taken from their homes for not being able to afford it. I think we here and the folks across this country have a message for the authorities for the pharaohs of our day. And that message is, take away our poverty, not our children. Take away our homelessness and not our children. Take away these low-paying, crappy jobs, not our children. Take away the polluting of the air and the land and our water, not our children. 